Many more cases of possession are turned away than are accepted by the church. Monsignor was certain on this. He wanted so badly to help Daniel. What happened in that room? <laughs> Senor began the exorcism. He, uh, he commanded the beast to come out. It all happened so fast. Daniel attacked us, but, but he cannot be blamed. He's an innocent you child. You did tie one of his arms. Did you anticipate violence? I had started to hold him down when the beast fought to control him. We were concerned that he might injure himself. Did you see a physical change in the boy? What I saw was not the face of Daniel. It was the face of a demon. So what are we dealing with? Is the kid Vesson or is he, and I hesitate to say this, possessed by some demon? I don't think he's Vesson. Even if one parent was, they would know and they wouldn't put their child through this. So that leaves demon. I got nothing else. I wish you hadn't said that. my patient. We need to talk. That boy is experiencing something that I don't think anybody is capable of explaining. I don't believe any of that. Get out of my way. If you provoke that boy, you will be a believer real quick. Anybody who enters that room is at risk of physical violence. We've already got a dead priest and an injured seminary student. Then what do you expect us to do? Nothing that could be perceived as a threat. No blood, no tests. It's just food and observation. Um, we have a unit on the way. What am I supposed to tell my staff? Tell them you don't want them to get hurt. I'll give you 24 hours. If he's that dangerous, I want him out of this hospital. 